Yo, what up everybody, welcome back to another video. So today's video, we're gonna be learning about how to set up React Native Firebase. And in this little sub-series of this course, we're gonna also learn how to set up dynamic linking so we can share a specific anime to anybody who has an Android device and it'll open up to that specific uh, anime. And uh, we're gonna be creating dynamic, dynamic links. So we're gonna create a HTTP request to create new dynamic links that we can share with anybody. And the way that dynamic links are gonna work in our app is for Android specifically, if they do have the app installed, uh, if they open up, uh, I've made one test dynamic link right here. If they open up this link and they have an Android app installed and they have the uh, any anime list app installed too, then it'll open up the app like so right there. And let's say that they don't have the app installed and they're on an Android device, then it'll take them to the Play Store, the Google Play Store and if they're on, let's say, desktop, then it'll actually open up to the specific um, the specific fallback link that Jacan API has provided. And in our case, that would go to this uh, my anime list right here. And this is going to be dynamic for each and every single anime that we do end up sharing. And specifically for iOS, we're only going to learn how to set up React Native Firebase for iOS. We're not going to be doing anything um, with it. Uh, because apparently it costs $99 to set up a developer account annually and I'm not going to pay that because I think it should be free to put up uh, an app on the uh, iOS Play Store. That's just my own opinion. Uh, but we're going to continue with the development process of this. We're just not going to, we're not going to be able to put this app up unless I find a way to make it, find a way to make it free or something. I don't know. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Firebase console. The way to get there, just go ahead and Google Firebase and then click on the first link right here. And then click on the top right corner that says go to console. And then all we want to do is go ahead and click on create a project. Once you've clicked on that, go ahead and give uh, the name of the project. I'm going to call it any anime list. And then I'll accept the terms. Go ahead and click enable for that. I'm just going to go ahead and create a project from there. And it's going to create the project. Let us do its magic in the back end. And now that that's done, go ahead and click on continue. And then on the top left corner, let me make this a little bigger. On the top left corner, click on this gear icon and click on project settings. Now this is where we're going to be um, adding our Android and iOS app to connect to this specific project. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do the Android installation first. Now, the first thing we need to do for that is we need to install React Native Firebase. And the way that we're going to do that is just to npm i dash dash save at react dash native slash oops, dash firebase slash app. All right, so that package is a must to install for any of this to work. Um, the next thing you want to do is scroll to the very top of your uh, folders. Uh, go ahead and click on Android, your app, source and then inside of there go ahead and click on this android manifest.xml and then go ahead and put, copy your package name now this is this is going to be required for uh, the android installation part so after this go ahead and click on the uh, android icon right here that says there are no apps in your project and then go ahead and copy your package name uh, i'm going to give it uh, app nickname any anime list android and then we need to give it something called a SHA-1 certificate. Uh, we are going to be doing this since it's required for dynamic links, Google sign-in, phone number, and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, so to generate a SHA-1, a SHA what we have to do is we need to do CD Android, and then we need to do dot slash Gradle, and then W, and then we need to do signing report, and then it's going to give us our SHA-256 and SHA-1. And so for our app specifically, we did install a couple of different dependencies that we connected to Android. So we have React Native Web View, we have React Native Splash Screen, Image, all that sort of stuff. We want to ignore all of those and go to the very top where it says App Signing Report. This is the one that we want. Um, and then go ahead and copy your SHA-1, which is this bad boy right here. And then after that, go back into our uh, project creation. Go ahead and paste it into there, register the application, and then it's going to give us a config file that we're going to download once this is completed. And then go ahead and click download Google services.json. Click next, and then after that we want to add our Firebase SDK. Alright, so after that we need to add our Google services.json file 
inside of our Android folder. Inside of Android, we're gonna go into app, and this is where we're gonna add the, um, the Google services. So just go ahead and drag it and drop it right into there. All right, so after that, we need to add some configurations to our build Gradle to connect Firebase uh, implementations and everything. So I'm gonna search for the file called build.gradle, and we're gonna go on the second one, that's just slash Android. And inside of here, we need to add a couple of things. So inside of the dependencies section right here, we're gonna add this class path, Google services 4.3.1.3. And then just to make sure that we have Google and everything connected to it, we don't have Google, so let's go ahead and add, oh, we have Google right there, okay, perfect. So that's really all we need for that. All right, so after this, we're gonna have to open up our other build Gradle file. So I'll do build.gradle, and we're gonna open up the Android slash app slash build Gradle. And at the very top of the file, underneath our Android application, we're just gonna go ahead and paste apply plugin services. And that's all you really need for the entirety of the Android uh, setup. Now let's go ahead and do the iOS setup. So for the iOS section, go ahead and click on add app in your uh, project settings. Click on iOS, and then we wanna give it our uh, app bundle ID. And the way that we're gonna find this is actually gonna be through Xcode. So go ahead and open up Xcode. All right, so to find your bundle identifier, uh, go ahead and click on your main project folder. And then inside of there, you're gonna see the general tab. And then inside of there, you're gonna see the bundle identifier here. You, I know you probably can't see it because I've been trying to figure out how to zoom in to Xcode for the past like 30 minutes and I still haven't figured it out. That's besides the point. Um, this is what we're gonna have to paste into here. And I'm just gonna copy it from signing and capabilities and just put it inside of there. And I'm gonna call it any anime list iOS, register the app, and then download the config file whenever it's ready. All right, cool, so once you've downloaded it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to have to drag it into our main directory right here. So just go ahead and drag your plist and paste it inside of there. Go ahead and click finish, and that's all you need to do. Next, we're gonna go back and away from this godforsaken Xcode and back to VS Code. All right, cool, so once you're back in your VS Code, zoom in a little bit more, uh, you're gonna open up your iOS folder, and inside of here, you're gonna go ahead and find your appdelegate.m, which is gonna be right here. Uh, whoops, right here. So appdelegate.mm, and at the very top, we're just gonna go ahead and do hashtag import uh, firebase.h with the alligator mouths around it, and then we're gonna scroll a little bit down until we see something called did finish launching with options. And at the very top of it, we're just gonna do brackets, fir app dot, oops, not dot configure, just configure like so, there we go. And after that, we're gonna be, we're gonna have to alternate CocoaPods to use the framework for Firebase. So we're gonna go into our pod file right here. And at the top, we're just gonna do use underscore frameworks with an exclamation mark. And then right below our require relative, we're gonna do dollar sign rn firebase as static framework is equal to true. And there's always been an issue with flipper configuration, at least working with um, Firebase React Native. So we're gonna go ahead and just comment this out. And then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and install our pod. Uh, so we're gonna do, I think it was uh, CD, iOS, and instead of there, we're gonna run pod install dash dash repo dash update. So there seems to be a little bit of a typo. I forgot to do, instead of ID, it should be apply plugin, like so. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and start up our app for both Android and iOS, and it should work for both, hopefully. Oops, CD into React Native. And then we're gonna do npx react native run iOS, and hopefully it should all work dandy. So we have a little bit of an issue. We forgot to add a uh, semicolon at the end of our, where is it? Right here, we need a semicolon there. Just like Java, just like Java. And so now if we run a fresh build, so I'm gonna do npm start, and then we're gonna do npx react-native run Android. And then I'm gonna do npx react-native run iOS. 
we shouldn't see any errors and both emulators should be turned on so we have perfect we have our android one on and then hopefully soon our ios as well perfect all right so that concludes this tutorial on setting up react native firebase for ios and android now we're going to be continuing developing this app through ios and android but we're not going to be doing uh dynamic linking for ios at all um and we're not also going to we're not going to put the app the ios version of this app on the play store either because apparently it costs 99 dollars, and i'm not going to pay that um i believe that it should be free because that should make sense in my mind um how it is on the play store so we're going to continue developing everything through the play store and uh put at least our android version on the play store so Stay tuned for the dynamic linking uh, portion and from there on the continuous continuation of this course. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.